All right, boys, uh, final cut downs yesterday. I I wasn't by my phone during this. I got off the golf course, and I, I scanned it quickly mm-hmm. to see where we were. And I have to tell you, I really only saw one surprise. And we'll go through them. Mm-hmm. Do you know who that one surprise was? Your surprise. Curtis Hodges. Curtis Hodges was the only surprise. Now, yeah. I know you they like him. He's 6'8". He's an athlete. Kept four tight anything. ends. There weren't glowing reports on him throughout Yeah, camp. like he basically had been a dud. Well, but they, he, he, it, it almost reminds me of the Reyes situation. Well, it just makes me think that they're keeping him because they're worried about Logan Thomas' availability. That's what I thought like, why immediately. Else, like, if he's yeah, underperforming why? and he's a project and he's not really in your plans, why would you keep him unless – your starter's banged up, and you're worried about him being there for week yeah, one. Yeah, but he's and beyond. prime practice squad material. But he's not ready to replace no, Logan. No, like, you've got two other tight ends. I, I, I was surprised too. What did I, yeah, I mean that was the only surprise. I mean uh, everything else, and we'll go through them. I mean keeping the two quarterbacks, not a shock, obviously. Uh, the receivers at the back end, I guess you could be mildly surprised that Mitchell Tinsley. Uh, they carved out room for him. They always keep a few more receivers mm-hmm. than what you would think. I thought so they, they kept might keep, seven. I thought they might keep four RBs, like they're a little thin at running back, with keeping only three. Right. Well, like I, I think nice. they'll bring back Patterson. It right. sounds like they put four guys on injured reserve, and one of them being Jonathan Williams. Yeah. Supposedly they're gonna. It's gonna be a quick thing, like a week or two. They're gonna get a settlement, and they're and they're just gonna move on from Jonathan Williams. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Maybe because he's. You know, he's a seven or eight year veteran and he makes a certain amount. They just want to move on. I don't know. I like him, but I guess they're moving on from him. Um, but I do think they'll bring back Patterson. And again, today we, we should start to get the reports of guys trickling back in on practice squad deals. Right, because they have to have cleared waivers by hours. noon today. Yeah. After noon yeah. today, guys so, have cleared waivers. So at receiver, obviously, the this was I'm telling you, there weren't that many spots open um on the whole roster. But McLaurin, Dotson, Samuel, Diami, uh, Pringle, when they picked him up, those guys were all locks, I think. Uh, Dax Milne, I think he really cemented his spot when Kaz Allen just kind of uh, had a disastrous third game. And then Tinsley, who his, everyone's been talking about all through camp. We always have a receiver that everybody falls in it's love with. a really with. good story. I mean, undrafted yeah. free agent out of Penn State to make the 53, not even the practice squad. That's, right. a, that's a good story. Now, one cautionary Note, they did say this is a very fluid situation, mm-hmm. right? So, and we've seen this before. This is their 53 today. Could change at noon, you know, and the guys start getting released. They start picking up guys. I, I, I'm i trying to get Drab to find a list. Maybe Pro Football Focus has one. I don't know. Of the top offensive linemen free agents now. Mm-hmm. Because I, I would love to see them pick one or two up veterans. Um, but we'll see. Tight end, they kept four. We talked about it. Logan, John Bates, Cole Turner, Curtis Hodges. Uh, running backs, as Cakes mentioned, they kept only three. B-Rob, Antonio Gibson, and Chris Rodriguez. I like Rodriguez. I think he runs hard. Um, Big dude, right? Yeah. He's like 6'2", yeah. like 215 or 220. He's strong. Yeah. yeah. Um, offensive line. This is the big question for this football team, right? Um, Charles Leno. Nick Gates, who everybody seems to really like. Sam Cosme, of course, they shifted over to guard. Cornelius Lucas, who's played a little bit the last couple weeks, so I think they're cautiously optimistic. They might finally get something from him. Andrew Wiley, the uh, the veteran they brought in from Kansas City. Trent Scott, uh, City Char- no, City Charles, rather, is the one that's finally playing. Um, Chris Paul, and then Ricky Stromberg, who has played some guard here the last couple of weeks. So they love that position flex, Cakes. I know Ron is in love with position flex. So that's 25 fan. guys on the offense. Defensively, they kept 25 guys. Then you have your three um, special teams guys. Mm-hmm. Defensively, 11 defensive linemen. No, seems like a lot. Yeah. Seems like a lot. No surprises, though. Uh, John Allen, Payne, Kadarian Mathis. Who I say has had a quiet... You haven't heard his name much. Yeah, like I was expecting him to maybe dominate a little bit more. But he's going to be a backup tackle. He'll we'll see. He'll play. John Ridgeway, Chase Young. What's going on with Chase Young? They're being very weird about it. Very weird about it. Montez Sweat, James Smith Williams, Casey Tuhill. I like Tuhill. I didn't necessarily know how much I liked him in the last year or two, but I he makes plays, man. Effie Obata, KJ Henry. The, I think he was the fourth <clears throat> round draft pick, but he's Fifth had a round, quiet yeah. pit uh, camp. 
Um, yeah. He was kind of outplayed by Andre Jones. Heard but there's they don't nothing like, outstanding about KJ Henry. But they don't camp. like to cut their draft picks. Right. So KJ Henry was pretty much uh, grandfathered in. Linebackers, they only kept four. Jamin, Cody Barton, the guy that uh, Drabby hates. Uh, Kalike Hudson, <laughs> who a little undersized, but I, I like him, man. He makes plays. And then David Mayo, survivor. Got to give your, you got a hat tip to David Mayo for sure. finding his way on the roster again. Cornerback. Um, this is where they've started to add some depth here in the secondary. Uh, of course, you have uh, Kendall Fuller, Benjamin St. Juiced, Manny Forbes, Danny Johnson finds his way on again, Christian Holmes, who made some plays in the preseason. Then at safety, you got Cam Curl, Jeremy Reeves, who made the Pro Bowl last year, Derek Forrest, who's starting to make some plays, Quan Martin, who I think has been somewhat quiet, but they like his skill set, and then Percy Butler. So again, I'm telling you, man, there might have been two or three spots that this team wasn't certain of when they started. They kept, you know what I mean? They could have g- given you this 53-man roster, 50 of them. Uh, I would agree. Two months ago. Yeah, I would agree. Are there guys that you saw who were cut yesterday you're intrigued by? So I just went through some of the notable names. I mean, um, in terms of offensive linemen, now, I don't know how these guys play. There's a guy, Brandon Parker, who was cut a tackle from the Raiders. He started in two of the last four seasons, but I guess they drafted somebody else. Mm-hmm. Um, Alex Leatherwood is a tackle from the Bears. He's been a bust. They keep well, cutting he, him everywhere. He was a mm-hmm. high pick by the Raiders, and he's flamed out now with yeah. two teams. I don't want anything to do with him. First round pick in 2021. I know. But I mean, there are a lot of first round pick busts. And so he's and then, fitting that. This is just that this one is, guy, Quisenberry, jumped out at me. This is just a name <laughs> blast lineman. from the past. But uh, Jameson Crowder at wide receiver. I know we got a bunch of wide receivers, no, no, no. but if Not you want to improve uh, your slot receiver. Not interested. No. Are you kidding? No way. I mean, I mean you know who's going to play, him, you know no gonna play in the slot a lot? Jahan Dotson. Right. And he's a, they he's don't a need massive them. upgrade over Jameson Crowder. No, I mean, that guy's at the end of the road. Yeah. Yeah. God bless now, him. They might need another receiver if Terry's going to be out multiple weeks. Right. They, I think they got plenty of receivers. But right now, they yes, they're fine at receiver. And it's amazing how quickly like running backs do flame out of the league that Melvin Gordon cut was cut. Well, who was saying I mean, he's been in the league for a pretty long yeah. time. You're sleeping on the, the length he's been in the league. Was it 2015. you that were saying Valdez okay. how slow he looks or something? Oh, I, I, I mean, we both saw it, but there, yeah. he had at least one carry in yes. one of the preseason games where, I mean, he was just moving so slow. He was That's so right. easy to tackle. They kept uh, Keaton Mitchell. They did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he looks good. What about I saw they, they they did cut Josh Johnson and Anthony Brown. Which one are they going to bring back? Do you think? What do you mean bring back? Like for the practice squad? You don't think they'll bring either one back on the practice they'll, squad? Well, they'll probably Anthony Brown for practice squad and Josh Johnson younger. and and Josh Johnson just be out there. Yeah, he'll okay. find a home. He yeah. he is the ultimate NFL ultimate survivor. survivor. NFL, NFL cockroach. Yep. <laughs> right. Um. So anyway, there you go. That's your that's your fluid. Uh. Roster situation right now, the guys that I think that are vulnerable, if they pick somebody up, I'd say Curtis Hodges is vulnerable. Hmm. I don't think any of the offensive linemen, maybe maybe they would just uh, cut K.J. Henry if they had to, to, to sign someone. I'm just trying to look at who they would potentially cut. Maybe... Maybe Danny Johnson again? I don't know. Some of those receivers, they're expendable. They need a roster spot. You cut. They kept seven teams. rookies. So seven out of the 53, seven rookies. Um, and like you said, they don't like to cut their draft picks. They don't like to cut their draft picks. So <clears throat> I don't know. I do expect a couple of these guys to be cut before uh, the first game. I, I I would think Hodges would be one, and then they try to get him back on the practice squad. Um, I don't know. I don't think they're going to cut. Mitchell Tinsley, but maybe they will. I don't think they're going to cut Dax Milne. I don't think they're going to cut Pringle. And I don't think they're going to cut any other guys, JP. So I, if they cut anybody, I guess it would be Tinsley. I guess. Just because he hasn't done it yet. Um, so, we, so we finally got there. We, finally got to finally the 53s. got there. Uh, their ESPN, I think, came out. I don't. Th- I think this is recent, right? Yeah, because this, this came out as of yesterday. I don't think we've talked about this, right? We've talked about different lists when we did our list season bit. <laughs> uh, ESPN did their top 100 players for the 2023 NFL season. Okay. How many commanders, Cakes, do you think 
made the list. I think I've already seen this. I believe. Okay, it's... so you can't answer. Yeah, I can't answer. I haven't seen it. I'm going to say two. I saw it too. All right, so you're going to say two. It's a, the answer is actually three. Oh, so it's McLaurin. It's what, Allen. what number do you think oh. McLaurin came in at? In the top 100. 77. Yeah, I don't remember where he was, but yeah, it's a, I think it was maybe a little bit higher. I'm just he came like 68. 36. I think it was that high. 36? That's pretty high. That's Here, really high. Here's what they say. Uh, McLaurin established himself as a top 10 receiver in 2022. Ranked 10th in receiving yards, 6th in yards per catch. He ranks 13th in receiving yards and uh, since entering the NFL in 2019, despite playing with 10 different starting quarterbacks. Uh, their signature stat, they say, McLaurin's the first Washington player to record three consecutive seasons with 75 receptions and 1,000 receiving yards. The other two guys, obviously, you want to take a stab Jonathan at Jonathan Allen. Jonathan Allen, 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 what number did he come in at? No, I clearly 70s. remember the numbers. 64. And then Curl. And then, no, then Deron Payne. Okay, Payne. Payne, and then Payne and came in at 70. 